Good morning, Carpers. Welcome back to part four. Back down at Chigra, winter campaign. Let's go and have a look around and see what pegs we can get. Well, carpers, unfortunately, <laughs> well, it's not really unfortunately, um, both the long chuck swims um, are partaken, but that is good in a way because I know for a fact if they were free, I probably would have jumped in there and I would have basically ignored this back channel. Um, as I said in previous videos, when I used to fish here in the winter, uh, the, these back channels used to always give me a 20 in the winter. Uh, so you know it's a bit of a it's a bit of a godsend that uh, the long chuck is taken because this basically forced my hand to come in this swim. Um, like I said, this swim used to be really really good. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get set up and um, I'll see you soon. Well, carpers, that is two of the rods out. Uh, just putting two rods out for now. Um, I'm actually really, really tired. Just come off a night shift. Uh, literally went home, had like an hour and a half, two hours sleep. Then I was up packing the car up and uh, heading down here. So, so the lady's been around. She's checked me, uh, yeah, I'm a ticket. So, yeah, rods are out. I'm absolutely shattered. So I'm going to get a couple of hours sleep. But we've got two rods on the dance floor. They're fishing. Got one over to uh, that little snag there, just on the corner, just to uh, you know try and um, nick, nick a bite if they come around that corner. And that's on a little snowman rig, um, as I said before. Little pink pop up with a oh, little pink pop up with the old cell. And over on that far margin, literally just chucked a solid bag out there with a little pink Northern Special wafter. Uh, with some uh, Scopex cream goo inside it. But yeah, just as I uh, put that second mod out, literally a carp just about here, uh, near them reeds, uh, probably a rod length off. Not far, not far, about here I've jumped out and I've got a rod there. So that's that's a really, really good sign. Um, I'm quite confident in my choice that I've made now. Um, Gee's on the long chuck come round and had a little chat. He uh, lost one at seven o'clock this morning. So they seem to be uh they seem to be moving about and jumping about. He reckons there's been a lot of movement out the front of him. Uh they're off in the morning. Um I was thinking about jumping in there when they um disappeared, but after seeing that fish out here, um I think I might just stick to my guns. I mean I know this this peg fish as well. I know these back channels fish as well. But yes guys, I have to love you and leave you and uh I'm gonna go and get some kip. Tight lines all. See you later. Absolutely needed that sleep. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to sleep this long to be fair. It's now like a quarter to five. But it's still light. Absolutely lovely that it's still light. Uh, I think we're gaining like five minutes each day. Um, absolutely loving it. Uh, no beeps on the rod. Um, I haven't heard, well, I've been asleep so I wouldn't hear it anyway. But I haven't heard any washing or nothing. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed for a carp. Um, we want one of them bigger ones. We want a 30 out of here. See, let's see if we can get a winter 30. I very highly doubt it. Um, but I know they're in it. I'm going to get some food on. going to watch the water, see any signs of fish. Um, st still only got two rods in. Um, I'll be going to just watch the water and see, see if anything happens. And then uh, probably go on that. I'm just going to leave the two out for now. Uh, maybe as soon as I see a fish or any, any movement or anything as such. Probably chuck a bag on its head or whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll just play it by ear. Anyway guys, tight lines, I'll see you later.
Good morning, carvers. Wow, what a chilly night that was. Um, no fish to be had, unfortunately. Um, didn't hear any fish whatsoever. Um, I'll, I'll take you around in a minute and give you a little show, but that sun's coming up on the other side. That looks absolutely lovely. Looks really, really nice and warm. Um, I did say yesterday that I was probably going to stay in this swim, but just been over to, to see the long chuck boys and um, they've had a couple of fish. So it looks like it's been uh, producing. So I'm going to get a couple of bits ready. Go and stick them in the swim. That's just just a uh, snare. <laughs> so I'm going to get a couple of bits ready. Stick it around there so I can secure the swim. And uh, we're going to do the final 28, 24, 28 hours. <laughs> we're going to do the final 24 hours in that middle long chuck swim. Um, but yeah, I've literally just got the kettle on now. Could have a cup of coffee. Uh, have a little warm up. Uh, I'll say warm up. I mean it's cold outside, but I didn't feel it one little bit in that in this bag. Um, this Tracker 365 bag is uh, absolutely unreal. Uh, with your bit of kit, I think it went down to like minus one, minus two last night, and I didn't even feel it. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna have this coffee. I'll see you in a bit. There we go, carpers. We are back in the long chuck. It's half eight now. It's got the bivvy round. Everything else is packed up around the other side. Literally everything's on the barrow, so literally just got to bring the barrow around on the two rods. But yeah, you all know this swim. Been here for the previous two two sessions. We've had some fish out. A um, couple of fish have come out out of that peg, fishing into the corner. But I absolutely love this swim. This peg straight out to the island. Um, no messing about this time, we've only got 24 hours in this peg, so we're literally going to go snowman on all three rods, all three of them straight to the island, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Uh, no solid bags, no nothing. Yeah, hopefully I've got some uh, plenty of ISO creams left. Look at that sunlet, it's absolutely beaming. Feels like a totally different bit of water this side. Um, Going that back channel, when it's absolutely freezing. There's still ice on the uh, on the ground, frost, shall I say? But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go and get the rest of my gear, get this uh, bivy set up, and then um, I think I'm gonna have to go and use the facilities. <laughs> See you later, guys. Yes, carpers. Well, everything's set up now. Uh, all the bivvies out, everything, just uh, get my old rigs ready, as I said, and all going out like that, little snowman. So yes, that's my scissors, but yes guys, please, what should I say, if you don't mind, like I said in my last little video, over 90% of my viewers are not subscribed, so hit, go down, hit that subscribe button, and while you're there, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Because this year, we've got some stunning little places coming on, coming on the channel. Um, we're not really joining a syndicate as such. We're joining a little club water over on Silver End. Had a look around there the other day. Um, absolutely stunning place. Hopefully. Fingers crossed we're going to get on there. Um, the old booking system, um, ticket system opens this Saturday, so tomorrow night. So hopefully we should get on there. We, we should do. But yeah, we're just going to use that as a little a little club water just to, um, it doesn't get busy down there. Um, that's, that is my uh, biggest hate on club waters, you know, the busyness and got idiots on there. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get on there. Quite a few 30s in there, say about 10 30s. I think they go up to like 38 pound, but they did last year. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, they might be a bit bigger this year. But yeah, because guys for the channel I do like traveling around to different day ticket waters. Um, I love the coking farms with Todd Burrs, and we want to try a few other different places. But in April. We've got four nights on Coking Farm. Can't wait for that. 
4 of us on there. Um, April the 10th, that's the uh, same time we went last year and we had a couple of decent fish out. So hopefully we're going to uh, bag a PB this year. That is my goal to be fair. Uh, probably going to get back down there again in end of July for three nights. Um, I don't know if you know it guys but Paviot's Mill in Yeovil. It's got a decent good head of carp in there. Uh, I think there's a uh, 450s in there and a really good good head of 40s and 30s. So yeah, um, as I'm not going to France this year that is all being cancelled. Um, I just don't think anyone wants me to go to France. But yeah, that's all been cancelled. So, um, old Alex that I fished with at Coking Farm, he's uh, booked up Paviot's Mill, and you can uh, basically share a hut to keep the price down because it is quite expensive. So, I thought, as I'm not going to France, um, I'm going to do five, six, seven days on there or whatever. I can't remember how long he's booked it for. But yeah, we're going to get on there instead of going to France. And the the amount of fish in there is uh, is really good. Um, Dorset Carper, old Lee boy, who I fish with, he fished it last week. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't have anything. But his mate went on Leon. Um, there you go, a lovely forty three pound mirror. Um, absolutely stunning fish that is. And I think he had two, two more twenties, a twenty-five and a twenty-three. But he literally had them, literally with a couple of hours of each other. But yes, guys, uh, that's what we got going on this year for definite. Um, in between, um, mate Lee that was fishing next door to me, um, he's also coming to Coking Farm, uh, but he also wants to catch a catfish and he wants to come to Jimmy's Lake with me. And also Tony, Tony, he wants to go to Jimmy's Lake, so um, wherever I do two, two visits there, one on each, or, you know, if they don't mind going with each other and making a, a you know, a, a social out of it, uh, maybe we can, um, all three of us get together and go down Jimmy's Lake. Um, I do like fishing with Tony, we have, we have some good laughs. Um, unfortunately, you can't get out as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to uh, get fishing back with him. Um, we have some good laughs and we, we get on like a house on fire. And that's what, what fishing's all about. But anyway, guys, I'm going to get these three rods out and um, I'll see you in a bit. Hello carpers, what's all that about? Absolutely noisy as hell. They've got no consideration for us anglers, have they? Anyway guys, just wanted to say, on my last little clip I said about uh, Lee Boy, uh, the old Dorset Carper, Fish and Paviot's Mill, uh, where his mate caught that 43 pounder, absolutely stunning fish that was. Um, yeah, if you wanna head over to uh, Dorset Carper's channel, um, I'll leave a little link in the description below. And you can uh, basically go and have a look and see how that session unfolded. Um, what a session that was. Um, absolutely cannot wait to get down there. Absolutely buzzing to get down there. Um, it's the beginning of September. Uh, got a long way to go, but I'm sure time will fly. But anyway, guys, go and give him a little subscribe. As he's trying to get up there, as well as me. And also give this channel a subscribe. As I keep saying, over 90% of my viewers have not subscribed. Just go down, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon because we've got some awesome fishing coming this year um, sort of touched on it a little bit before but we've got some got some other little venues in the pipeline 
Uh, I'm not going to say too much because it's not booked in yet or anything. So until things get booked in, um, I won't be saying anything. But yes, the old rods are out. Looks absolutely stunning out there. Um, it's a lot warmer today than it was yesterday. Uh, let's turn this camera around. Yes, guys, absolutely stunning out there. Oh, these geese were literally right over there, right by that white tree, um, which is where I've got a bait and they basically killed it. Um, got to one to the point of that island, I don't know if you can see it here. Uh, one to that little white stump there, if it isn't, yeah, right there. Um, literally got them hmm, probably half a rod length or a rod length off the island, um, all out in a cell. Boilies with topped off with an ISO cream, snowman style. It's uh, been working for me down here, so literally all three of them have gone out. Um, and we all know from previous videos here that there's a lot of bream in here, but we we sort of um, skipped them with the old snowman rig. So we're hoping we're going to skip them this time, but. It seems to be nighttime bites here or early morning, so we're not really looking to get anything yet. Um, as soon as it gets dark, I mean, it's getting later and later now. It's probably about half five, it gets dark now, so probably half five onwards. Um, yeah, it's gonna, gonna start getting some fish. I'm um, not seeing anything jump out yet. Uh, there's been quite a few other anglers come on. Uh, by all accounts, I think there's about 12 of us on. Um, obviously it's starting to warm up and all the uh, pleasure anglers are coming back out again. Um, had a couple of people that have been pike fishing um, come and ask me what you know what sort of pike are in here and I don't know I don't I don't do pike fishing as you know. I like my carp and also like my catfish. Um, I don't specifically go catfishing if you're new to the channel but I have caught some catfish and I do actually generally like them. Um, I don't think I'd want to go permanently catfishing all the time um, I like the fight of a catfish but I love carp absolutely love carp so anyway guys I'm going to sign off um, watch a little bit of the TV and uh, see you later guys good morning carpers well last two nights have been been really really cold um, that's, that's, nothing's really happened to be honest not even not even a bream we're always getting hammered by bream one here and not even one bream it's, it's crazy um, but yeah that's why I probably didn't do a little evening report last night so I'm just finishing my tea um, yeah I didn't really do an evening report um, not really nothing's to be said to be honest um, someone moved into my left so I had to move my left rod basically I moved that to the right so I moved them all across because um, I was fishing in his in his, his, his water but no one was there so why not um, but yeah yeah nothing nothing to be had to be fair I haven't heard any alarms go off last night with anyone um, but guys it is winter and the last four sessions we've had on here we've had a fish so to be fair I'm probably due a blank on here uh, like I said the weather's been really 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 cold at night time um, the chances of catching a fish were pretty slim to be honest even though I was full of confidence and confidence is key but it's not over yet guys it's what is the time 8.46 we've got two and a half hours left there we go remember last time I said that we had a little run didn't we so yeah it's, it's not all it's not all over until you bring the rods in remember that guys but yeah we've got two and a half three hours left um, but yeah I'm going to drink the tea I'm going to stick the radio on and um, I'll catch up with you in a bit don't forget get down there hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos and let's get up to 2,000 subscribers 
we are currently on. I know I've turned the old uh, su subscriber count off. Um, we are currently at 1600, so another 400 guys, and I'll do a, another little giveaway. Um, I've got something in mind. Um, basically, all them club cart boxes that I was getting. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that I don't use and will never ever use so I'm probably going to have a little look through them and get all them clubbed together make a good little little bundle out of it and um, I'm going to give one of them boxes away full of full of whatever I don't need um, plus, plus other good things but yes guys uh, let's get up to 2000 400 more to go see you in a bit and that is the end of part four guys and a complete blank um, unfortunately it wasn't like the first three parts where we had a fish um, I think we've done quite well to be honest um, catching fish on our first three parts and it's in the middle of winter but the temperature has dropped right down now and unfortunately I don't think anyone on the lake has had a fish not that I know of uh, I spoke to a couple of people they haven't had anything uh, didn't hear any alarms during the night so Part four, guys, will be, sorry, that is part four, this is part four, uh, part five uh, will be in two weeks' time. We'll be back down here with Lee, um, he fished last time with me. Um, unfortunately, he hasn't had any fish, but hopefully we are trying to get him a fish uh, for part five. Uh, so yeah, join me back down here in two weeks. And don't forget, guys, hit that subscribe button. Let's get up to 2,000 subscribers. Hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. And if you haven't already, head on over to Dorset Carper's channel and check out his Paviot's Mill vlog and Leon's absolutely stunning 43 pound mirror. And that'll be a little insight to where we're heading in September. Well, that is goodbye from me and I'll see you in two weeks, guys.